Hello everyone and welcome to the party. I'm Deborah. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'd like to show you how to make five minute brownies. And I've pre-measured a lot of things just to make the video not quite so long. And don't worry, I'm going to post the recipe for you after we're done with this video, okay? So, five minute brownies are pretty quick. We have sugar, flour, and cocoa powder. And we're just going to stir those together really quick. This is one of our impressions bowls. These are kind of a newer, newer set. They have a snap down lid rather than the scoop and burp type lid. They're very pretty and they also um, nest on their, or excuse me, pedestal, pedestal on their seal, which makes them very beautiful for serving at the table. I like cooking in them because they're really, really deep and tall and I'm kind of a messy cooker, so that's why they suit me really well in the kitchen. Another nice thing about them is they, um, all of the bowls and their seals will nest inside the biggest bowl that you have. So that makes it really convenient for storage too. Okay, so we've got that stirred up and now we're going to add some one stick of melted butter. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about this in a little bit while the brownies are cooking. I've already pre-melted that. And we have one teaspoon of vanilla. And you'll notice that I was able to pre-measure that and just have it sitting there. They have a little flat spot on the bottom that makes that possible. Sorry. Used to going down, not sideways. We have two eggs. And we're just going to stir that all together. And believe it or not, that's the whole recipe. You're just going to stir the ingredients up until they're well mixed. And no dry powder. This is a great recipe for when it's hot in the summer and you want to treat. Um, these are microwave brownies. We're going to cook them in the microwave. It's only five minutes cook time. And um, also, you know, if you have suddenly some company coming over, this is a great recipe to grab and do. And a pinch. Or just if you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen and you want a yummy treat, which is why I do them. So we're going to put that in. Oh, I didn't get that quite stirred up there. Let's mix that in a little bit. A little pocket of powder. Nobody's perfect, right? Okay, and this is one of our vent and serves, and I'll tell you more about these in just a minute while this is cooking. Just gonna spread it. This is our this is our large shallow vent and serve that we have. And I'm also using our silicone spatula. You can use this for cold things, but you can also cook with this on the stove. I always use this when I'm making eggs, scrambling and omelets and things like that. This will uh, is safe on your stove. This is silicone, so it's safe on your stove up to 400 degrees. And I should have showed you before I got it messy, but um, you can take the silicone piece off of this too, and there's a nice little spreader on there if you want to frost a cake or, or uh, cupcakes or something. So that's our whole recipe. Those are ready to cook if you wanted them plain. I like to fancy them up a little bit. So sometimes I put um, maybe Butterfinger pieces or toffee pieces. One of our favorites is um, chopped up Andy's mints are really good spread on the top. And my second most favorite one is Reese's peanut butter chips to spread on the top just to fancy them up a little bit. Of course you can also put nuts in them. Today I'm going to show you our speedy mando and because I want to put a uh, shaved almonds on the top of the brownies today. So I have my almonds here and of course I keep all my dry goods in Modular Mates and that's a different party. Um, but some of you might be familiar with those. Those are our dry storage, our dry food storage system. So this is kind of a new item and it's one of my favorite new kitchen toys actually. Um, it's called the Speedy Mando. It's just a little slicer for food. You can use it for I'm going to show you nuts today because um, not too many things will slice nuts as nicely as this does um, and as easily. Um, but you can use this for herbs, carrots, anything you want to slice for a salad, potatoes. You can make little potato chips with it. It's just a nice small little um, slicer 
it's easy to throw in a drawer. It doesn't take up much room. It has a little plunger that just goes right down like that that you push the food with. When you get to the bottom, it's going to lock in place right here and that keeps your blade protected. The other really cool thing about this one is um, it actually it actually slices in both directions. So that's why we call it the Speedy Mando is because it'll work really quick for you. So I'm just going to put some almonds in the chute here. And I probably put a little bit too many in there, but we'll, we'll use them for salad or something. So all you do is just slide back and forth as you press down. I think I'm going to stop about right there because I think that's plenty. So as you can see, those are just beautifully sliced. And what's really cool about this is, you know, if you use slivered almonds or shaved almonds a lot, you know how much you spend at the grocery store for those little tiny packets. This little Speedy Mando will serve your whole kitchen. It's only $13 in the summer catalog. And I know you're going to love it for a lot more things than just almonds, but think about how much money it's going to save you just on those shaved nuts. So I'm going to sprinkle this over the top here. And that looks good to me. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go pop it in the microwave for five minutes. While that's cooking, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about our vent and serves. These are really seriously the most commonly used food container in my house. They are very much our favorite to use for everything. And when I say everything, I, I say that in sincerity because you can take a vent and serve from the freezer and put it in the fridge and you can also cook in the microwave with it. You can also reheat in the microwave. We have lots of different sizes. I've got the catalog page here to show you. So we have a lot of different sizes and we do have a, a money savings set there and you'll see on the bottom there that's the brownie pan that I'm baking for you in today. So we have, um, we have the little mini shallow and I like to have a couple of these in my kitchen just because sometimes um, we like breakfast sausage but we, don't, we never eat the whole, uh, we buy the turkey sausage and the little shrink wrap thing and uh, we never eat all of it so I like to put just a couple in here sometimes if I'm headed out somewhere um, for the day to take and munch on or leftovers that are small of course. The neat thing, um, I'm going to pick up a bigger one so I can show you more clearly. The neat thing about these is they have these nice stay cool handles and you don't have to take the seal off to cook in them because there's a silicone vent right there and that's why they're called vent and serve. You always want to have that open when you're cooking or reheating in it and that lets the air escape and some of the steam escape um, and then also it keeps the mess out of your microwave. So that's another reason why I really love them. Um, but they have stay cool handles so you can take them right out of the microwave like this. They will be hot on the bottom where your food is warm. Um, but we also have these little, I don't know if you can see that, we have these little sort of like feet um, and that serves two purposes. You can put them right down on the counter and they won't harm your counter. It kind of acts like its own trivet after uh, reheating. Now if you're cooking in these you probably want to put a little hot pad because if you're actually cooking food in these they're going to get pretty hot on the bottom and I don't want anybody to call me later and say oh it made a little burn spot on my counter when you have um, if you have that older type older type formica. But then the other purpose of these little legs is it, it lifts them off the bottom of the microwave and that allows the microwaves and the airflow to go all the way around your piece so you get super even cooking in these which is really really awesome this one happens to be the medium deep or excuse me the medium rectangle so and this one is the shallow uh, medium shallow rectangle this is the most commonly used one in our house we have a just a ton of these we use them for leftovers they're just the right size to take one of those larger uh, bread sandwiches in. We call them pan breads because my husband used to work for a bread company. Um, but the larger ones that are not just the little square pieces, they fit in here perfectly. And of course hot food, cold food. Um, I freeze 
my own fast food when I make dinner. I'll make, um, we call them plan overs. So I make extra and um, just put myself a single meal in here and stack them in the freezer. And that way when I'm working at the school district, I have a part-time job still at the school district, um, I just can go out there and just grab something and take it for lunch and it'll start to thaw while I'm working in the morning and then I can just pop it in the microwave and finish thawing and cooking it for my lunch really easy and way healthier than um, going through McDonald's or whatever you're going to do. I don't eat at McDonald's, but there's lots of fast food places to choose from. They all have a lot of extra things in them that we don't need to put in our bodies, right? So that's a medium shallow. This is a medium. And this is a, a small shallow. And then we have round ones as well. And this is a medium round. We have medium deep and medium shallow also. And so you can see all of those right here on this page. Here's the round and then the rectangles in this direction here. The other thing that I had here that I said I'd talk about a little bit more, this is the same material as our vent and serve, which by the way is really, really tough. It's made out of similar material to airplane windows and bulletproof vests. So it's super, super tough. It will not stain, which is really nice when you're carrying like, you know, leftover spaghetti or something. Um, and they won't crack, they won't chip, they won't peel. Of course, with our famous Tupperware um, warranty, if you, if you manage to break one of these, you can just give me a call and I'll replace it for you because they are warrantied against chipping, cracking, breaking, uh, peeling, and these are also guaranteed not to stain. This lovely little pitcher set, oh, there's our brownies. This lovely little pitcher set has been made so that the small one can go on the top and protect your microwave as well. And it's nice for your table if you have gravy or your warming syrup or anything like that. They're wonderful to use for measuring, and they are measuring cups because they are embossed with the measurements. And the nice thing that Tupperware did is you can actually read them from the inside. So you don't have to be pouring like this. You can just set it down, pour your measurement in, and you, and you can go. Let me go get those brownies. Ah, oh, they smell so good. Here they are, all cooked and ready to go. And what I'm going to do with this pan here is I'm going to I'm going to let it cool, and I'm going to uh, put the seal on it, put it in the freezer, because my husband is going golfing on Wednesday uh, with a bunch of his friends. So I'm going to cut those up and send them with them instead of putting them on my hips. I hope you enjoyed watching that, and I will post the recipe for it next.